All right, I'm here in Fair Play, Colorado at High Alpine Sports. This is where you have to get your permit in order to pan for gold. Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. Today we're here in Fair Play, Colorado. This is Josh from Lanky White Guy. You've seen him in plenty of other videos. And we're at the High Alpine Sports here. And this is the place that you actually come to get the permit to go panning at a location right over here. So it's site F01 in the book Finding Gold in Colorado. Basically, it's just a big, huge dredge tailings pile. You can dig here with just a sluice, but you do have to go there. Man, this is It's freezing. It's June 9th and it's snowing. Winter weather advisory. Yeah, it's crazy. So let's head over there and I hope you guys enjoy the video. Scouted around just for a little bit. We found this area. It looks like a bunch of people were digging here and you can see obvious, you know, big holes and everything in the ground. So um, yeah, let's go over the equipment that I'm bringing first and then I'll show you what we're gonna do. So this is the Garrett Super Sluice Gold Pan with a snuffer bottle. Got some water boots. I got the water boots because I'm gonna be setting up this fluid bed sluice box just out into the water, like right there. It looks like a perfect little spot. As you can see, the river is raging in the background. So we got lucky and found this little spot here. I've also got a small bucket, two big buckets, my half inch Arbor Fabricating Classifier, got a shovel and my pack. Now the reason I'm bringing the half inch classifier is because we don't need to use that quarter inch classifier while running a fluid bed sluice. The way these sluice boxes work is you put them into the high flowing water right there and basically you submerge the thing, you throw your material into this side, it flows over, it goes over those little grates right there, all the bigger rocks flow off the top and yeah, we don't have to worry about wasting time with the quarter inch classifier. So I'm gonna go ahead and set up that sluice box. Now this entire area is dredge tailings. So there's, you know, those dredges miss like half of the gold or more. So, I mean, really any place that we pick would be good. I'm looking at these two rocks right here and I'd like to like maybe dig in around there and maybe pitch those rocks over into this hole that somebody left. So yeah, I guess that'll be our spot. I know a lot of people would say try digging under these shrubs because the roots would hold more gold. Now, while that's true, at the same time, those roots are also holding you know, the ground together and preventing erosion. So we're just gonna go ahead and dig right there. And the gold is supposed to be bigger here than it is out on Clear Creek. If you've seen those videos where I find the little tiny flower gold, at least out here, we're gonna find probably flower gold too, but also flakes and stuff. All right, so here I have two buckets, half full of water. This one has my classifier in it. We're just gonna fill that up so the water reaches the bottom of that classifier and a little bit more. I guess you could fill it all the way up if you really wanted to. This classifier is full of material, as you can see. I'm just gonna go ahead and give it a quick shake with one hand. And that's it, man. Arbor fabricating classifiers. Best in the world, link in the description with a discount code if you're interested. All right, man, we're making good progress on this new pit. We moved some big rocks out. Filling up the other hole. So I'm full here. I'm gonna take it over to the fluid bed sluice and just start shoveling it in. And we'll be back to the pit and continue doing that until we completely tire ourselves out. So Josh is over there on his first bucket. He's running it through his sluice box. I'm on bucket number three. It's not that I'm working any faster, it's just um, that I have this half inch Arbor Fabricating Classifier and I'm running a fluid bed sluice. So I mean, it's uh, of course it's gonna be a lot faster. But as you can see here, we've got a nice pit going. And I wanted to do a sample pan just to see because the problem with the, uh, the fluid bed sluice is that there's no way of knowing if you got any gold or not. I was even thinking about gluing some riffles onto the top of it or dremeling them in or something, but it's fine. We'll get it done. We're gonna go ahead and do a sample pan from the bottom of this pit. 
we'll see what we get. That should be good enough. A lot of people uh, want me to do a video on how to pan for gold. Well, you can take this as a lesson right here. First thing you gotta do is classify your material down to small pebbles. You don't want big pebbles or, or anything in there. These are fine. They'll pan off with this Garrett Super Sluice Gold Pan. Submerge your material completely and stratify it. You're trying to picture the gold going to the bottom. The gold is the heaviest part. Your gold, your lead, your black sands, your garnets, hematite, magnetite. When you shake it up like this, the heavies automatically go to the bottom of the pan. Once you do that for a few seconds, then you basically just wash off the rocks off the top, just like this. That's all the light stuff. There's no gold in there. Just do it five or six times, and then stratify again. And just continue that process until all that's left is your heavies, which includes your gold. It's pretty simple once you get the hang of it but I don't think there's really a need to make a complete video for that because it's such a simple thing. And you really don't know how to do it until you try it yourself. If you guys are interested, there's always links in the description for all this gear that I'm using, including this gold pan right here. This is called the Garrett Super Sluice. All right, we're getting down to the heavies right here. There's a few bigger rocks that got through. Usually I'll pick those out by hand. All right, this is the trickiest part, so I'm gonna uh, show you at a different angle here. All right, so once you have all of your heavies, you're gonna shake it down to one corner like this. Then you're gonna tilt it back so there's no water at the top, and then you're gonna roll it back like this, slowly keeping your eyes open for gold, and your gold and your black sands will be at the top, just like that. Let me get a better angle. Now I actually didn't see any gold in that pan but I washed it all back. I see a little piece of flower gold like right there. It's not even gonna come up on camera, but that's how you do it. Let's check up on Josh. I'll show you his setup. We'll see if he found anything in this pit yet. How you doing, man? Doing all right, a lot of big black rocks. We'll let it clear out a second and you'll see like a lot of these big black stuff just sticks in there. You see any gold yet? Not yet, I'm still hoping. <laughs> I haven't fully let it clear out all the way though. Maybe there's something in there. I know there is, it's a nugget. Yep. All right, we'll keep our eyes open. I kind of want to go try somewhere else because I didn't see anything in that test pan. I mean, it doesn't mean there's no gold there. I only took about three or four scoops, but should have seen a little bit. Right, at least a speck. I'll see what was in this bucket. You know what, dude? I think I'm gonna go and I'm gonna clean out my sluice box just to see if we're uh, if we're on anything. That way, at least we'll know if we're wasting time digging there, and then we could try another spot. Yeah. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and clean this up. This thing's really simple to clean out. Basically, you just pick it up, turn it upside down into a bucket, and pan it out. Right here is our concentrates from three buckets run through the fluid bed sluice. We're gonna pan that out just to see if there's any gold.
spin this back and if I see anything, I'll show you. Come on, just a flake or two. I don't want to move spots. Got black sand in here. Oh yeah, there's a little piece of gold. Dude! Yeah, man, we got some flakes over here. Look at this, guys. Now it's just about impossible to get this shot. But right here, I can see one, two, three, four, five, five plus flakes of gold, much bigger than flower gold. These are nice pieces of gold, so we're in the right spot, man. Awesome. All right, we'll see how Josh did here. Out of his clean out of his sluice, he ran one bucket. Now this is the back sluice, and there was one little micro that got through the main, there it went. Yeah. Right at the tip of my finger. And there's another little, you can barely see that one. That don't even count. Just little bits. Yeah. But that was the back sluice, so we'll see what's in the front sluice. And the front sluice is the dream mat, right? That's the dream mat one, so. All right. We will see. All right, here's Josh's dream mat concentrates. There's not a lot, and there doesn't have to be. Those dream mats really uh, cut back on the amount of concentrates. Dude, you got a lot of black sands this time. Yeah, that was a lot more than the back mat. So I think we'll just pull it back. Sorry about here. the lighting. Yeah, let's. Oh, fingers crossed here. A couple flakes, probably. Fingers. fingers. I hope. Yeah, we got it. There's some big old black rocks though. There's oh, one. Oh yeah, There's man. one. You see that, guys? I see it. Show me two. Big old flake There's right there. There's another little bit right behind it. Coming out, third little bit under it. That's the biggest flake today. That's not quite a picker, I don't think. There's some little stuff up in here though. Let me do a tap. Oh yeah, there's some good little specks in there. I think we got a good spot. I think we should stick th stay there. I think so, and a piece of lead. Look at that lead. Yeah. That's a big old. You got imagine some flower gold. You got a nice little hmm. flake. Imagine if that lead was a couple big old flakes, flake. man, right by that lead. Yeah. This one isn't a bad pan. I'm that gonna was end up awesome. sucking it all up though, and just take it home. Yeah, take it all. Keep check, the lead too. Check that guy out. Yeah. Cool. That's very good. <laughs> nice. Much less water flow this time on purpose. I need more water flow. That's not enough. I'm gonna fix that. Now let's try this out. I got the water flow where I pretty much want it. As you can see, it's kind of building up in here, so I have to rake off all these plus half inch pieces. Now if I would use the quarter inch classifier instead of the half inch, I wouldn't have to do that. So you live and you learn. Yeah, this works. It's working good. And there's actually visible gold. There's a piece right there, man. I don't know if you can see it. Like right there-ish. I don't know if that's gonna focus because of the glare, but there is a piece of gold right there. I think it moved. Yeah, it's moving. It just went into the trap. We're definitely onto the gold. We're a lot deeper in this pit. Let me show you. We've only been here like two hours, man. Believe it or not, three hours. What the heck? Where did this come from? Wisconsin, flower gold wizards. Once we don't identify this rock, uh, I have no idea, man. I don't know about rocks too much. I do know about gold though. I'll throw this back at you. Where's North? Up there. All right, Josh is over there finishing up his uh, his last couple buckets, and I am actually already done. I got my sluice out of the river, and I'm kind of bored, but I'm also kind of beat up. So I'm just taking some dirt from this hole that we've been digging in, just doing sample pans, and I'll tell you what, I did two sample pans already, and I found six nice flakes in each pan, and that was only like two shovelfuls per sample pan. So. I'm just gonna keep doing this until Josh is done. And then we're gonna wrap this up at the river. And uh, over here I have two full cleanups for my sluice box. I'm gonna save that for back home. So we'll process that back at the panning station. And there's Snooker Dog. Good boy. 
right, Josh is doing his final cleanup here. You'll be able to see everything in his perspective on his channel, Lanky White Guy, of course, there's a link in the description. And also a link just popped up on your screen. Click on that, it'll bring you right over to his channel. So we're, we're gonna check out what he got. Now he ran two buckets here through his Dream Mat sluice. So this very well might be his best cleanup of all time. All time. Wow. Holy dude. crap, the black sands. That's some heavy, heavy stones. Let's get a little bit more. even some iron in there. Yep. Right up there I got a big old piece of iron. There's a little flake. I see it. And one behind it trailing and a third one, fourth one. Oh my goodness, there's quite a few. Let's push them all back up. There's another one over there. Some garnets. Oh, yep. I gotta see a line of gold at the top. Look at the little flakes coming down the corner. See all them? Oh yeah, yep. That's I just can... all the little. Yeah, right here at the edge. Yeah. See that big one there? Whoa, yeah, right there. There's a, chunky, There's a bunch of flakes in there, chunky dude. Chunkyish bit there. Let's just lay it out. I gotta see. I'm saving all of this and going through it better. Oh yeah, that's full of flakes, oh, man. Oh, look at that flower gold. You've got all sorts of flakes in there. That's oh, a nice pan of gold, man. I was about a hundred. 100 specs in that pan. Oh yeah, at least. Easy. Dude, that is nice. going all the way nice. around. That is awesome. Oh, Congratulations, 100, man. 100 specs in that pan, that's awesome. Plus the little flake from before. Yeah. Dude, check out the video that I put up because I'm gonna have it all together at the house. Right. So, whoo, good day digging. All right, everyone, thanks a lot for watching. Thanks to Lanky White Guy for uh, initiating this adventure today. Uh, he texted me, he's like, hey, let's go to Fair Play. And I was like, dude, I heard about the place, but I've never been here. And this place is huge. You guys don't understand. There's like piles and piles of tailings piles here from the old dredges. And there's like 60% of the gold still here that they missed. So if you're, if you're ever in the Fair Play area, um, get yourself a permit, come on out, and dig for some gold. Did you enjoy your day? Awesome day. Heavy little bottle here. Yeah. Still got to clean it up, but good day digging. Yeah. A couple buckets, a couple hours, found some gold. Yeah, we were here like what? Five hours or something? Four or five. Yeah, we had some soda pops and dug for some gold. All right, guys, we're going to go back to my place, clean up my uh, cleanups, and I'll see you guys there. Here we have all of our dried out concentrates. As you can see, this little bucket is about halfway full. There's a lot here. That's one thing about the fluid bed sluices. There's so much concentrates to go through. But this will be an interesting uh, second half of the video. Um, I'm gonna speed it up. Don't worry, you won't have to sit through all the panning and everything. But first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna lay all this out. We're gonna classify it um, to kitchen strainer, 20 mesh, and 40 mesh. This is all of the contents of the snuffer bottle that has been dried out. Now, there may or may not be as much as we saw at the river in here because when I emptied my snuffer bottle out and let it dry, uh, I bumped it and some stuff fell out. So I hope I didn't lose any of the, those flakes, but we'll find out. We'll remove the magnetics from here too. I'm gonna make this easy on myself and classify everything to eighth inch first. and check this carefully for gold nuggets. Cause you never know, man. It's an interesting rock right there. All right, if I find anything interesting, I'll let you know. All right, so I'm just classifying a little bit at a time so it's easier to kind of inspect everything. I'm noticing a lot of pyrite in these rocks. Mica. Maybe even telluride. It's really hard to tell if that's tellurides or pyrite or mica. But, I mean, if I crush this stuff up, it's possible we, we could find some gold. And I'm just gonna put this stuff uh, in my pay dirt. So if you guys wanna do it, there's a link below for pay dirt. 
All right, I'm done with the plus eighth inch side. I didn't find any uh, big nuggets or anything. I really wasn't expecting to. That would have been nice though. All right, next we're gonna classify this stuff to kitchen strainer. All right, this is all of our minus kitchen strainer. I didn't notice anything, I didn't notice any gold, I should say. I did see a lot of mica, shiny stuff in there, a lot of mica, um, but no gold. All right, next classification. Next size is the 20 mesh. Okay, that's it for the minus 20 mesh. I was keeping my eyes on it, I didn't see any gold in here either. All right, and the final classification is 40 mesh. Okay, here we have our plus kitchen strainer, our plus 20, our plus 40, and our minus 40. The next step is to remove the magnetic stuff using my homemade black sand remover. Let's see what kind of magnetic stuff is in our minus 40. That's a lot. That's more than I expected, actually. A lot of dirt trapped in there. It's not a lot. Oh yeah, there is a lot. Not as much as Clear Creek, but still a good amount. We're onto the minus kitchen strainer here. It seems like a lot of it is like, that's strange looking. That looks crazy. There's some big chunks of magnetite in there. Okay, the final size to remove the magnetic stuff is the plus kitchen strainer. saw a big chunk of iron in there too. See these chunks of iron in here? But that's good enough, I think. All right, the panning process can begin. We now have all of our stuff uh, demagnetized. This is all the magnetic stuff. We're gonna pan this out as well. I'm not 100% sure that I didn't grab some gold uh, in that stuff, so we're gonna pan this out at the very end. But I think first we're going to go ahead and pan out the majority of it. That is the plus kitchen strainer. Okay, so let's bring over Krusty Rusty here. We'll add some water and some jet dry. You guys know what the jet dry does. If you don't, leave a comment and I'll be sure to uh, inform you on that. We'll do about this much at a time. No gold in that first pan, and uh, I'm really not expecting to find any gold in here, but if we find some, man, that would be awesome. All right, well, I panned this stuff out, and there was absolutely no gold. No big surprise, but that's okay. All right, on to the next size. That's gonna be the plus 20 mesh. Right here, we're just gonna do a little bit at a time. Now this stuff is gonna be a lot easier to classify than normal because I'm doing more classifications. The more classifications you do, the easier the panning process is. Okay, no gold in the first pan, but that's okay. I'll keep you guys updated if I do find anything. All right, so I'm just finishing up my plus 20 mesh, and I don't know if you can see it, but there's some garnets in there. Those little red stones are actually garnets. 
Do not see any gold yet though, unfortunately. All right, up next we have the plus 40 mesh right here. We'll do about a scoop full at a time, I guess. Maybe a little more. We got our first little bit of gold here in the plus 40 mesh. One little flake. So as always, as I see it, I grab it with the snuffer bottle. We'll keep going. This is pan number three of the plus 40 mesh and I just have a good feeling about it so I turn the camera on. That ain't gold, that is not gold. Okay, yeah, there is a piece of gold in there. Right there. One flake, I'll take it. Okay, this is pan number five or six and I think I see some gold up here at the top. Not 100% sure, but had to turn the camera on for it. Was it gold? It was not gold. Okay, never mind. Man, I only found, I'm almost done and I only found like three flakes in here so far. I guess most of the gold's gonna be in the super fine stuff, I hope. All right, so I have probably one pan left after this, but we got a nice flake of gold right there. All right, the very last pan of the plus 40. It's our last chance for a nice big flake, I think. Yeah, nothing in that one either. Wow, okay. All right, and then finally, we only have about one pan of the minus 40. I'm actually gonna pan only about half of that, just to be safe. I'm just gonna spin it back and see what happens. Okay, I do see some gold over here in this corner. Two little pieces. Oh wow, yeah man, we got a lot of gold up there. Let's see if I could tap it into a line at the top. Look at that, man. Right there, nice little line of gold. Just gotta work at separating it now. Usually tapping helps a lot. You know what, I'm just gonna collect up what I see as I see it. But man, that is a nice pan of gold. I mean, most of our gold is in our minus 40 for sure. All right, I'm just gonna grab that. So I took that minus 40 and I split it up. Um, actually, we're gonna do like four pans, but this is pan number two. Let's see what we got here. Okay, I see some gold right there. Yep, a bunch more flakes up top there in the black sand. Yeah. I don't know, maybe 10, 15 colors right there. All right, so now we still need to pan the magnetic stuff out. Let's see if we missed anything. It's very possible that we did. One spoonful at a time of the magnetic stuff, and I'll keep you updated. All right, we finished up the magnetic stuff. There was no gold in there. We're gonna go ahead and pan back everything that was in the snuffer bottle. Let's do that in a green pan, though. Now, like I said earlier, I think I lost some of this, but Let's see what we got here. I guess I didn't lose too much. Looks like I do have those few, I don't know, five or six, seven, eight flakes in there. Cool, I'm gonna grab everything with the snuffer bottle. We'll pour it out. We'll do a cleanup. All right, here we go. Let's pour out the snuffer bottle. We'll see all the gold we got at our trip out to Fair Play. Oh wow, that looks good. I didn't think we actually got that much. That's some really nice color right there. Let's tap it up into a corner. That's actually really good. That's about five hours worth of work. And uh, Josh and I, we had a fun time out there. Now how much gold is this? Um, just by looking at it, I would say probably close to a tenth of a gram or about five, six dollars worth of gold. That's actually pretty good. Now a lot of people would be like, man, that's a lot of work for a little bit of gold. But you gotta remember, um, most people that do it recreationally really don't do it for money. We just do it for the fun. Um, if you agree with that, please hit the thumbs up button if you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to subscribe. I put out a new video every week. That's all I got for today. Thanks for watching.
Thanks again, everybody, for watching my video. It's much appreciated. I did notice that 73% of my viewers aren't even subscribers. So if you would like to make sure you don't miss any of my future videos, make sure you subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the next one.